Howdy, partners. I hope y'all are doing all right out there. Let me give y'all a little bit of advice. There are some of y'all out there who always feel a way when someone on their own platform has an opinion about someone that you're a fan of. So the very next time you come across someone on their own platform criticizing and giving their opinion about someone that you like, someone that you admire and idolize, Go on your own platform and respond, react to what other people are saying about your favorite celebrity. You don't have to mention their name, but you can address certain things and say, man, these bloggers out here, man, they over here talking about my favorite celebrity. When they don't even know them. You don't know what they going through. Vent on your own platform. But coming on my platform and other people's platforms and trying to tell them about what they're speaking on and addressing it and trying to criticize, it's not going to help really. Because you're not going to change my opinion. You're not going to change my thoughts and my feelings about none of these goofies out here. So next time, just use your own platform to counterattack the people who are attacking your favorite celebrity. I mean, these celebrities should not be that important to you anyway, to be writing a whole paragraph in my comments expressing how you feel about me saying something that you don't like about your favorite celebrity. I made a video about DC Young Fly yesterday. Giving my criticisms about how he's been handling Jackie O's passing. That's my opinion. You're not gonna change my opinion. So you going in my comments, telling me and trying to Correct me is a waste of your time. A lot of us have an opinion about Jamie Foxx. Mr. Jamie Foxx. Mr. Jamie Eric Bishop Foxx. It's our opinion. We are not going to just fall for the reports that that is really Jamie Foxx out there. I don't believe it's Jamie Foxx because ever since I noticed that tattoo vanished, vanished on the back of Jamie Foxx's head, mysteriously, I knew something was off. But with all the rumors being spread, only God knows, right? The truth will come to light eventually. And until we see an interview by Jamie Foxx with his glasses off so we can look in his eyes, some of us are not going to believe that Jamie Foxx is alive and well. And some of us are not going to believe that the person we are seeing out in the public now who portrays Jamie Foxx, who they are saying is Jamie Foxx, we don't believe it is Jamie Foxx. We can all have our own opinion about anything, but y'all going out your way to try to correct people on their own platform who have an opinion, it's not helping. And it's not going to change what is
or change how we feel. So go on your own platform. And why don't you speak against the people who are speaking against the person that you like? We're in, a, we're, we're in a time now where it's about who you like and who you don't like. If you like that person, you would defend them at all costs, even if they're wrong. If you don't like that person, then it's, it's probably more than likely there's not, nothing that person can do to change how you feel about them. But that's everybody's right. But I use the stories and the events around these celebrities as a teachable lesson. I use it for educational and entertainment purposes only. I try to challenge people to think about certain things. If something doesn't make sense to me, I have a right to express that and try to encourage people to think. You don't have to agree with me. I don't, I don't expect you to agree with me. But jumping in my comments, give me a whole dang old paragraph about how you feel and how you disagree with what I said. It's not going to help. You're just trolling. You're trolling someone that you disagree with. And I can proudly say that I'm not a type of person who, if I don't agree with something somebody's saying on their video, I'm not gonna go out my way to comment and say, man, you man, you a goofy out here, dog. You, you don't even know what you talk about, homie. You don't even know that such and such person. How you gonna just say that? Have you been, are you, are you there with that person? Do you wake up with that person? Do you live with you? It's no use. Because nine times out of ten, I'm wasting my time commenting on that person's video because they're going to either remove my comment or they're going to ignore it. And it's probably not going to change their opinion and how they feel about someone or something. So save it. Save it. What you say don't matter. What matters is what the person feels and what they think on their own platform. Now, if I was going on any of y'all's platforms saying what I'm saying, then you have all right to correct me and try to address it. But I would hope if you're in my comments, you're liking the video then you are subscribed and share it if you want to. Even if you feel like you don't agree, if you disagree with it, it's like, man, look at this goofy right here. Let me, let me share this right here, y'all. Can y'all believe what this fool said? Still support the channel. Support Duran Too Real for TV. Because I'm going to say stuff that's a little too real for y'all anyway. A lot of y'all's living in la-la land. Faking it till y'all make it. Y'all aspire to be like these people who already didn't sold they soul and who are out here doing something strange for a little piece of change. So my advice to you is stay in your lane. If you can't, if you don't have much to talk about and you don't have much substance to what you say, don't, don't jump in somebody else's comments. Cause you're gonna just look like a hater, really. Now you could say, oh no, nigga, you hate no who you talking about. That's fine. But telling me I'm hating is not gonna change how I feel about that person. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Mr. Jamie Foxx. has a lot of handlers. And Mr. Jamie Foxx will never be the same 
he will never be the same. But I'm waiting for this interview. I'm waiting for Jimmy Fox to do this interview so he can explain to the public what's going on and so he can confirm what's true and what's not true. Until that day, we ain't gonna believe nothing. DC Young Fly, I didn't like how he went about it. I didn't see remorse from him. I didn't see much emotion. A lot of y'all make a thousand excuses, but I think if y'all lost a loved one or yet alone a partner, I don't think y'all just be all cool and then y'all make excuses and say, well, he was crying at home. How you know, was you at home with him? Just like y'all try to come to my comments and say, I don't know him personally. Don't tell me that he was crying or he'd been crying at home when you ain't even been in his home. But regards to that, I have a right to feel like it's odd that he would act the way he's acting right after his woman got checked out of here. But men, this is what y'all need to start doing. Loving, love your wives. Love your queen. Love your partner. If you don't fall in love with the plastic surgery stuff, because you are risking your woman's life by encouraging her to do it. If she wants to do it, try encouraging encouraging her not to do it because she's already beautiful. She doesn't have to go that route. There's a natural way to go about it. It's about working out. Stop being trifling. Get off your ass and do something about it. Don't try to take the cheat code route and get some type of mommy makeover. Because if you're a mommy and you got kids, the kids need their mommy. And it's not fair to them that you risking your own life just to feel beautiful, just to make yourself feel like you're beautiful and you have some value and, and I don't know. But women, y'all got to love yourself. Stop relying on society to validate y'all. Stop relying on your followers on social media to validate y'all. Why don't you rely on you? Look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful. And I'm lucky to be me. How about that? Instead of trying to look like a Kardashian, a Cardi B, a Nicki Minaj, a Megan Thee Stallion, a city girl. Try looking like yourself. Work on being your best self. Try looking like and acting like the best version of you. With all of this trying to transform yourself to look like someone else that you admire on TV in hopes that men is gonna men are gonna give you the same attention that they give your favorite celebrity on TV, you're playing yourself. So I have a right to have an opinion. I feel bad for Jackie O. I'm more disappointed in DC Young Fly than Jackie O than I am in Jackie O because DC Young Fly that's his queen and he should encourage her and I mean shoot if I was DC Young Fly I would have threatened to leave her if she would have got it done and if she would have still got it done then I would have told me you know what she don't care about me she don't care about her health she don't even care about her kids she just care about herself and 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 trying to get the attention from other people strangers but this should be a lesson learned to all of y'all, men and women. Love yourselves. Men, you love your queens. Stop making them feel like they're not good enough. And if you're not make and if you're not the reason why they don't feel like they're good enough, then you need to try to assure them 
that they are good enough. Excuse me. Tell them that they're beautiful more. Kiss them more. If she got some of the rolls or whatever, you know, it's a little extra fat. That's okay. Show her that you embrace all of it. That you accept all of it. Because it's a real, real struggle with the self-esteem with these ladies these days. Women are struggling to love themselves and be confident in themselves. So they're using certain things to try to boost their confidence. But at the end of the day, regardless of what changes and alterations they make on themselves and these filter faces that they're putting on, it's not going to change who they are inside. So if you're an ugly person inside, you're still ugly on the outside because a man going to, a man is going to admire your beauty for so long. But if you got a stank attitude and you're just a horrible person inside, that man is not going to stick around anyway. So ladies, instead of spending all this time on working on your outer appearance, work on your inner appearance, your inner soul, your inner personality. Are you a loving person? Are you a helpful person? Are you caring? Are you considerate? Or do you just feel like you're entitled to everything that you want? Not so much need, but everything that you want. So work on yourself on the inside, ladies, and you will be more beautiful on the outside. I guarantee it. This is Durant to Real for TV. Signing off.